everybody. Darren Dito coming up on Unexplained Cases Live. We are serving up a healthy dose of the spookiest, the craziest, and just the plain weirdest paranormal images of all time. You're looking for aliens and UFOs? We got you covered. How about cryptids? Check that box, too. We'll have Bigfoot, the good old swamp ape, and the Rugaru. What about trying to capture a glimpse of the Mothman? Yeah, we'll have that. Might even slip in a sighting or two of the Chupacabra. And don't forget about ghosts. We've got pictures to give you the chills. Miriam is going to use her mad skills to remote view these epic images to try and let the world know what they are, where they came from, and most importantly, what do they want from us? A special Unexplained Cases Live is next. Welcome to another edition of Unexplained Cases Live. You got Rick Garner, Darren Dito, and Miriam the Medium. It's the trifecta Hello. of paranormal. Hey, you know what? Madness, you silliness, your, craziness. You should just call me your psychic monkey. When you told me what we were doing tonight, I was just like, sure. I'm just like your little psychic monkey. Like your <sighs> psychic swamp ape. No, like, now see, if you're gonna go there, we should go back to the original analogy, basically. Because usually when I needed her to investigate a, a case, I would just do a little text, do a little call, and I called it dropping a quarter in. You did, you, you know? did. So so that's that's basically what we got going on here. And this is yeah, like a... I, I felt more like like when uh when you guys were going back and forth over text, which I shut my phone off, I was like, Oh my god, guys. And just picture after picture. And I was like, what am I? Just like your psychic monkey? Like, here, do this. Here, do that. And then to top you, it all off. Yeah, throw you a banana. I, uh, hey, and listen. I do not support animals in the circus or psychic animals. On oh, shows. my God. Okay, good thing I didn't bring my penis tonight. Your penis? Peanuts. Oh, my God. No, no, the, no, the, the first oh one goes with me everywhere I go. I And we're done. Good night, everybody. That's it. <laughs> Rick, did it not sound like he said that's peanuts? <laughs> Sorry, that's exactly what I thought I was hearing. Hey, Peggy from Australia. We are not talking about genitalia on the show. Uh, Mary Christina, Ruth, Aaron, welcome. <laughs> we well, we want we, 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 well, we want to shift the show around a little bit. Might as well just go for it. Well, hey, you know, any, you know, I've never got to use my elephant impersonation on the show before. So, I mean, there you have that. Let's just bring out all the circus animals. Yeah, it's yeah but were you doing the elephant impersonation in reference to his peanut comment or my penis comment? <sighs> Peanuts, oh. elephant. Oh, sorry. That reminds me of an old story. <laughs> I was mortified at the uh, San Diego Zoo as a child where the two elephants were getting it on. And it was like, everybody was like, it's like, it's like, guys, get a room. Okay, well, was, we should, zoos shouldn't be, you know. Hey, man, when they got to do it, they got to do it. So well, I, I know, no. but the animals shouldn't be held captive. It's not No, right, this is this, this was at the at the wildlife park, you know, where you're like, they're like way Thanks, north of San Diego. Yes. Yeah. Okay, See? now I'm okay with them doing it. Okay. Oh, yeah, no. See, that's the difference between a zoo and a sanctuary. So. Huge difference, and we can talk about that later if anyone. Yeah, no to. cement, no concrete, none of that stuff. Well, <sighs> okay, this started off weird. <laughs> Wait a minute, My, that's two. The the that, last show started off weird, the, and actually, I, I I hold you responsible. Actually, I was going to say, blame what's me, the, I'm blaming you. What's the common denominator between these two shows? <laughs> To be fair, it's me and you, Rick. But tonight, mm. Darren mm. capped this off. Like, he started off with the P word. I said it three times. I won't say it again. It's, it's the things you break the shells and you eat them at the baseball game. But that's right. fine. We'll leave it at that. That's okay. Hey. hey. I have a lisp. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. Listen, how come when we don't have a guest, we just are like jerks? Like, there's just no <laughs> rules. We just talk over each other. We say weird things. But when there's a guest, we're all prim and proper. Wow, really? And when there's not, we're like, penis, poo. Oh. <laughs> Paranormal poo. 
Yeah, it's, D. Well, it's, it's a palooza tonight. So, hey, oh, yeah. Kira, uh, and, and Brenda. And yeah, actually, Erin said that that's what she thought you said as well, Darren. Oh, okay. All right. Well, there's good at least Lord. three. There's at least three against uh, you on this one. Sorry, bro. But, <sighs> well, okay. hey, it's it's ratings. We got to go for it. <laughs> Darren's penis is going to bring us ratings. <laughs> Well, you've set me you've set me up for so many of these things. I don't even know where to. I mean, I could take I the football and take it down the field, but I probably will just leave it. I'll you call do, a timeout. To be fair to the audience, Darren will take it up like fifteen notches. Like I try to keep it PG thirteen, and then he takes it to X rated. So, can I go back to what I was trying to say? Yeah, you want to go back to the bananas and the monkeys and the elephants? Hey, yes. I'll, even, I'll even give you the full stage to say uh, whatever. Thank you. Saying. What I was trying to say, okay, so so you guys say, okay, so we're going to do these pictures. And I'm like, oh, fun. These pictures are fun. I like doing that. But for some reason, you guys, you sent different pictures this time. I mean, not to me. You were recommending ones. Like last time we did solely, I think it was ghosts, okay? This has like... Bigfoot and animals and these weird, crazy-looking faces, things, off men. Yeah. What are all it these? It is. Yes. I don't know what all these things are. Okay, I obviously I've heard of Bigfoot. I get that, but um, so anyway, but it didn't bother me. I was just like, okay, whatever. I'm doing other stuff because I don't engage in the the pre-show conversation, just so it doesn't mess with my head, right? So my I shouldn't say my head, my my psychic ability. And then last night. Last night I was in the, I was telling the show earlier when you're in what they refer to as the dream state, which is you're falling asleep, but you're not totally asleep yet. And that's where a lot of intu intuition takes place. That's where a lot of um, experience, people have experiences um, in that moment. And for me, that's normal. It's where I get a lot of my information. And I was told loud and clear, do not discuss Bigfoot. Ooh. Okay. They were like, do not talk about him. Do not reference him. And then I was like, first off, I'm like, fine. Like, so I get information a lot. So I'm just like, I'm going back to bed, peeps. It's fine. I won't talk about it. But I'm like, I better remember this in the morning. Um, and then a few hours later, I wake up again. And I, I wake up because I'm told there's a bunch of strange energy in your room right now. Whoa. And I don't get strange energy in my room, not because I'm like super protected and crazy like that, but just because I don't engage. And so I just don't get it in my room. Um, I don't care. And so even when they said that last night, I was just like, listen, I'm too tired. Like they're going to have to just behave and not bother anyone. So I can go back to sleep. So I went back to sleep and, um, and when I woke up, I text, I, I got up again super early cause it was, Sunday? Was it today I texted you guys? Yeah. 6 a.m.? Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I just got information that I'm not supposed to talk at all about Bigfoot. Now, the fact I'm talking about it right now, I'm like, I hope no one's watching <laughs> or listening. But I thought, well, that's trippy. Because now, of course, you want to be like, well, why? Because I have no connection to Bigfoot. Like, I don't believe or disbelieve. I could neutral either way. But here's my point, though. Yeah. You're talking about Bigfoot. We're talking about a skunk ape. Yeah. A what? A skunk, skunk ape. It's like a smaller version of the Bigfoot, if you will. Is it a so, swamp ape or a skunk ape? So, you know, well, there are swamp apes. There are skunk apes. I mean, it's basically, true. at the end and of the day, smell. at the end of the day, uh, this, they're basically skunk all ape. Bigfoot. Oh. So you're thinking sure. maybe their reference was to kind of all these things, like a couple of those things, not just that like typical big, like I heard Bigfoot because that's what I would understand. If they said sure. skunk ape, I'll be like, what? Right, <laughs> exactly. Ape. You know, I would I would be deferring on the side of basically all of them would be a no-no. But, you know, of course, in, in our little Palooza collection, there is this picture of a skunk ape. So that's what I meant by we'll show it. And if it's kind of like, uh, no comment, then okay, that's fine. Ne next. The well, and and the, next. Excuse me. And the, the, the information I was given wasn't from my people. It was from like, like other people that were like, I, people, I use that word, like people, <laughs> other right. beings that were people. like, don't discuss this. And I, 
it was just, it was so, again, again, I don't like dive into that or engage. I just say, okay, it's fine. I, I don't want the, the, the chaos or drama, but I, that, mm -hmm. that doesn't happen to me a lot. Mm. And so when it did, it was like, well, that's interesting. That is mm. curious. Before we get rolling on this, uh, just had a quick little question here. MJ Allison was like, uh, use all sorts of devices to communicate with spirits. My favorite is rods. What do you think of using Ouija uh, spirit boards? Are they safe? Um, my personal would be don't go near there. Uh, Jordan also was commenting that they're the worst form of communication, uh, in his opinion. Oh. But to me, the problem is is basically my, my take on it is very simple is the fact that you you have a device that you're in physical contact with. <coughs> sure, it's just paper and plastic, okay? Right. But you're in physical contact with this, and you are allowing an entity basically to control you. Right. That's my take. That's why I say no, because you do not know to whom you're speaking, to what you've opened up. It is not something for someone to play with. Whoa. And See, that was, that was that was me. That was me. Sorry. Oh, that, Boy, that was not a Ouija board. I was like, oh my gosh, right on cue, man. That was yeah, because you you maybe think, hey, it's fun and games. You're communicating with uh, I don't know somebody that seems pleasant, but at the same time, it could be somebody disguising themselves as, hey, I'm a nice person. And it could be a demon. So yeah, I don't, you know, I don't know. Those things are a little, yeah. Uh, that's off limits too. I agree. Yeah. All I right. Agree. All right. Let's all see right. some damn pictures. Come on, people are probably like enough of this chitty chat. See all of that stuff, and it's time time to move along. All right, I, I am. I am gonna... Hey, look at that slate. Unexplained cases. Colon paranormal photos. This is that's, sponsored by. That's creative. I right? am gonna yeah. edit those penis clips together, though. Well, as as I would expect, uh, that might be NC seventeen. But we'll uh, as, as I I might expect from you. Ah. Okay, okay, so this one, this, this is, is like, a, this, take it away. yeah, this is like a multiple choice. Rougarou, rake, or fake? This was uh, caught on a night vision trail camera in the woods in Louisiana. Just to give you a little bit of background, a Rougarou is a Cajun legend. The creature is said to prowl the swamps around Acadiana and uh, New Orleans and the sugar cane fields and woodlands of the regions. The Rougarou most often is described as a creature, maybe this one with a human body and the head of a wolf or dog similar to the werewolf legend. So that's A. We're going to play a little multiple choice. Or could it be the rake? That is a creature that is allegedly in a humanoid form and appearance. Maybe. Supposedly this ugly creature can attack people or make them psychologically harmed. And some people believe it could be tied to the evil Slender Man, a skinny evil man lurking in the forest or for... Uh, Answer number D, could it be an alien? So it could be Rougarou or fake, I should say. So it's Rougarou, Rake, maybe the Slender Man, an alien, or somebody did this on their computer. Okay. It, or is that from, <coughs> excuse me, are those questions for me? Well, just what do you think? I mean, what, I guess, yes. uh, okay. I mean, what, I mean, does it look, does it look like this could. It's, it's so, not alien. Okay. So, so take that out. The, so what were the other three then? Well, the Rougarou is kind of a famous, like a Cajun kind of monster thing down in Louisiana. That, okay. um, and then the other one the, is the rake. Is and I've seen pictures of what people think is a rake. Is what this looks like. It's a humanoid form. Supposedly, the creature can attack people or make them uh, psychologically harmed. I'm not sure how it does that, but right. but this is kind of a controversial photo, correct, Rick? I mean, some people are like, yeah, it is, or was it doctored or CGI or? Okay. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Rick. No, I was just saying that there there have been several people who want to claim that this is debunked because it's almost something that seems a little too good to be true. So there's that. Has it been seen more than once? I think uh, I something know. close to this has been seen, right? I mean, something it's not similar has been captured in another video that's basically a completely different uh, angle. It looks very similar to this. Okay. Whatever. It's so not two at okay. the most. It's what was that fourth one? A uh, man or skin? skin? Well, the sl the slender man. Have you ever heard the slender man? Is kind of okay. that skinny evil man lurking in the forest. Okay, it's not that. Okay, okay. so and not an alien. And it's not an alien. Um, okay. So the first two, Peggy says, looks like a soul in pain. It does. Okay, the, the here's here's what I'm hearing. There's something doctored to the physical aspect of its body 
the eyes are real. So Ooh. it's been doctored, but the eyes are real. So there is a, there's something about, you said this is in Louisiana? Yes. Paging there is country. something about Louisiana that does harbor or hold unique uh, spiritual entities. And so, but this, um, so this was doctored to a certain degree to make it larger than life, mm. but its eyes are real and its presence is real. Spooky. Um, it was a combination. There was, so this, this being entered the body of an animal. Okay, so this person saw an animal. This being had entered the body of the animal, which is why the eyes are real, but the body is not. And so any doctoring that was done, and honestly, a part of me wants to say that it wasn't doctored in like to mislead people. Okay. But there is human elements that were uh, that were added to this photo it was an animal in this being entered that there's this location in particular is like swimming with these odd offshoot entities um george says it could be hiding near tunnels yeah or in them yeah i could see that and so it's not like, and that's why I asked, you know, how often has this really? been seen? Because it really isn't a creature that is in physical body. It takes on animals, physical bodies, and then leaves them. Doesn't kill them. It enters them and then leaves them. And oh. so, and it doesn't happen all the time, which is why you're not going to experience this all the time. And why gotcha. this isn't something that will be easily proven all the time. Okay. Interesting. Okay, cool. Let's go for the next one. Mm -hmm. oh, this, is a, this is pretty famous. This is the Chicago O'Hare, the airport UFO that was uh, from 2006. Uh, it happened in Chicago. The sighting is regarded as one of the most well-documented that was seen by many people in planes. Also, the terminal at O'Hare include, included over a dozen O'Hare International Airport employees. Obviously, they're out there on the tarmac. Um, airport employees say the object was clear as day. You can see it there pretty good. A metallic disc-shaped craft hovering over gate C-17 of the O'Hare International Airport. I believe that's American Airlines. Um, of course, the government, well, it's not really the government, it's the FAA, Federal Aviation Administration. Yeah, it's government body. Uh, declined to investigate the incident because the UFO was not seen on radar and called it a weather phenomenon. I mean, a lot of people saw this. Okay. And I find it, it's an interesting location at one of the busiest airports in the world. Yeah, it's real. It's real. And again, this is a similar situation to what we, <clears throat> excuse me, talked about on one of our last alien shows where these, a lot of these ships uh, kind of lose uh, orbit, like lose, they accidentally fly into areas they don't mean to. Um, and that's what happened here. And that's why there's this, oh wow, Woo. there's this fascinating attribute some alien families have <clears throat> where they can actually create the ship to to um, make it so it's physically um, tangible, like so it, it looks like it looks, but they are not present. So mm. that it's more, um, what's the word, guys? It's more um, tangible, physical. Um, it 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 would um, match up with our society, whereas they're able to, to dense, they make it denser. Whereas mm. when it starts to leave our area, it actually becomes uh, like a ethereal light <clears throat> dissolves a little and you can see different colors and you can see the entities inside and you can see the uh, energy and the fluidness of it. But, it. but a lot of times they have the capability to make it super dense. So people are 
captivated by the density of it and not okay. the colors and the energy which would just send people over the edge does that make sense mm -hmm. and so that's that's what and it, it notices it's coming in too low or it's again it's like there's something about our ozone if that's the word i don't know our energy field that can pull these accidentally like pull these spinning um discs in and they know how to oh that get become very dense to move themselves out of it okay all right cool doesn't get awesome. clearer than that well just wait look at this yes, uh, this psychic is, monkey there it is okay all right monkey here's a banana um you're looking at a <clears throat> excuse me a fleet of mysterious lights that were filmed off of North Carolina's Outer Banks. Look at that. Uh, this happened on September 28th uh, of 2019. The uh, William Guy posted a 30-second video on YouTube titled Real UFO Sighting. The video appears to show, uh, it looks to be 14 glowing orbs over the water in some kind of a formation. Um, okay, so people want to know, were they Chinese lanterns? Uh, maybe military flares that were dropped from a plane, which I don't see any type of plane anywhere in that picture. Or, you know, was it something unidentified? Was it an alien it's, craft? It's not. It's not alien. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Is it, is it? Is it? Is it? Is uh, it drones or? It's human man-made. Okay. It almost feels like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, actually, because human. I can't read humans. <laughs> well, Stupid, silly humans. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's leave it at that. I genuinely it's, don't know, but it's not alien. Okay. It's un, It's unexplained. Hey, well, there you go. Okay. My I personal favorite, bad. the Mothman. In 2016, a man in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, claims to have caught on camera that flying humanoid creature, the legendary Mothman. Uh, and the images are a little bit grainy and show the silhouette of a creepy looking two legged thing, winged creature flying around. Uh, a little bit of background on the Mothman, a uh, creature reportedly seen in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, back in the mid 1960s. And some believe the Mothman creature was associated, this is crazy, with the collapse of the Silver Bridge over the Ohio River in 67. Sadly, it killed dozens of people, leaving some residents to consider Mothman sightings to be bad omens uh because isn't the legend that it was seen right before the bridge collapse uh yep. and then the horrible thing happened i don't know this this thing is weird i don't know what it is um supposedly it's you know terrorized people that i mean it doesn't look like a fake i mean it looks like an insect but i you know I, and there's the treetops right also next to it looks fairly similar to our statue the moth man Meth man cometh. Allegedly what he looks like. Right. I don't, I'm not feeling it. Oh, okay. I'm not feeling it. I'm not real. I'm not feeling any, any energy to this. Creature, critter yeah, thing. I don't, I, it's, it, I don't, it doesn't, it's not, I'm not feeling any life to it. I'm feeling, um, a doctored photo of a bird flying at night. Mm, um, okay, there yeah. Is a, there is a bird of sorts, and I say bird of sorts because I'm not really sure what it is, that does come out at night or that is that is out at night that people are thinking is this. It's okay. not. Maybe it's, like a, cr a creature that hasn't been, you know, categorized or nobody yeah, knows what it is. And there's not many of them, but it's not a Mothman. <laughs> right. It, it's not, um, this is not, no. So no. basically I think what we're learning here is that uh, the Mothman legend does not hold water. No. No. Okay, sorry, Mothman. Hey, they make a lot of money on tourism when they come to town there. Well, then don't let them hear me say that. Okay, this is pretty cool because Rick and I have actually been on this uh, ship a couple of years ago. This is the ghost of captain of the U captain of the USS Constellation in Maryland. It was taken by Lieutenant Commander Alan Rosie Brom, United States Navy Reserve. It was just before midnight on December 27th 
1955. You can see it right there to the right of the whatever the wheel or whatever that thing is. The image was published in the Baltimore Sun on New Year's Eve of 55. It is believed to be an officer, maybe the captain, Thomas Truxton of the Navy, who was the first commanding officer of the USS Constellation frigate from 1797 to 1853. Uh, one of the most successful engagements he had was against the larger and heavily armed French frigate, one of theirs, on February 9th, 1799 in the West Indies. This is a pretty famous uh, photo. We were on the deck of that um, ship. Very, We had some pretty cool, crazy, weird things uh, that happened. We, we didn't get to see anything amazing like that. But look at the detail. I mean, the pants with the stripe and like a shoe or a boot. Kind of the the coat that somebody and uh, you know a captain would have with maybe the buttons on it. Um, are you picking up a vibe? Are you think we're seeing this guy? This, uh, this yeah, this uh, the is captain? real. This is okay. real, and it actually has a connection to Rick. A connection to me. Yeah. There's... I knew it that night. I knew it. Back in 1955, huh? I'm I'm intrigued. There's there's like a lineage that you have there, and. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a, there's a connection to you, a lineage, a fam of, of some sorts. Um, hmm. and, and, and I don't, I keep saying the word lineage, but I think that it's more <clears throat> a life, past life for you, mm. not necessarily family, something that you would look up and find. Hmm. Um, this is another, this is a lifetime connected to you. This is a general. Did you say it was a general? Um, he's the oh, captain okay. of the ship. Yeah, it's a, okay. it's a big old frigate. Yeah. So I'm hearing the word general that was your general, Rick. And he, you looked up to him. You actually were, he was like a mentor to you. Um, and he resides here. He, he stays on this, this ship. He stay, he's there. He's there, always there. Um, part of the reason you, I don't know how you, if, I don't know your Rick, if you've always lived in Baltimore, Maryland. No, just since 2004. Okay. But that's, there's a, that, there's a huge connection to you and Maryland, like there's a whole lifetime that you've been before and it's this lifetime with this guy. Um, and it almost feels like, not to get too personal so everyone can hear your business, but if I, I wanna say you had a, he was like a father to you and you haven't experienced anything like that since this lifetime. And to research this and research him would just be interesting for you um but he's he resides there um and this is obviously very real and was your general or your captain and you were very close and you were you did a lot of good <clears throat> you helped a lot of people um and his integrity and his his um honor is what you always looked up to and it just feels like you haven't found anyone like that that you can really say you know that's how i want that's how i strive to be that's who i strive to be or that's and that's that's what he brought to you and for you um wow that's crazy man now is uh i know that you're not locked on to names but are we verifying that this is um well, do we have a name? Do you have any letter or any type of name to, of who this is? I don't know. Jordan, do you? Let's say, yep. Yeah, Jordan's out there in the uh, comments. Let's, Let's see, see if, if Jordan you. has anything. Or, d hey, Darren, were there any names attached to this? Oh, you mean the, the, the captain here? Yeah, because I could. Oh, yeah. I no, it's, uh, it, it's um, Captain Thomas Truxton. Captain Thomas Truxton. He was the first commanding officer of the Constellation. Uh, from 1797 to 1853. I mean, it's a very old uh, ship. And my so, I mean, if it's, if it's so, that. your middle name is Truxton or Thomas? Tom. Tom. 
Rick no. Tom Garner, RTG. <laughs> I, I, the name doesn't totally resonate with me, but you all know how I am with names. So that's why I kind of look to see if Jordan thinks he maybe he has a name or, you know, because I don't know that the history books will attach the right person to who this is, to mm. who has the past life with Rick. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, what do we got here? Is that wait really quick? Is that close to you, Rick? That ship? Oh yeah, that oh, yeah that's just in. Uh, that's just up the road, twenty minutes. Um, uh, we spent what eight or nine hours on that ship. I know. There's either a Thomas or a Jimmy, is what I was getting. Okay, well uh, that's okay. what Darren said. Thomas, right? Yeah, but, yeah. I, but you know what? I, God, Jordan, I was getting J two. I Could was getting J two. Yeah, Just because Jordan I, starts with a J. That's the only reason why. No, I was feeling the same. Uh, I just and Michael. Always, I just don't always trust myself with names because it's not my strength. But mm -hmm. I was feeling that too. But you should uh, just, you know, follow your intuition. But check it out again, Rick, with that well, understanding. Clearly, because I'm thinking, you know, going back to that night when we were freezing our baguettes off. I mean, oh, uh, God. you know, maybe uh, I was having a little extra, um, you know. Look over there, basically, so to speak. So, well, we got to go back. It sounds like, you know, it sounds like another another trip there. But also, you, it won't be so much of a cold experience. You know, it it'll be warm, familiar. You know, oh, true that. Unless it's you know fifteen degrees outside, then it's well, so cold. That's what we're talking that. about. So we're gonna go from Maryland all the way down to Florida yeah. with the with our buddy that talk about him. It's our buddy, the skunk ape. Uh, an ape-like creature, yeah, I can see that, inhabiting the forests and swamps of some southeastern U.S. states like Florida with reports from uh, being the most common uh, down there in the Sunshine State. It is named for its appearance, and it stinks. Uh, this fish was captured by skunk ape, skunk ape expert, I think it's Dave Shelley or Sheely in 2000 in Florida. Okay, the video, the picture's kind of uh, grainy, but you can see it's kind of making its way across the swamp. And I think in the video, it kind of heads for those trees, the palms, uh, and disappears. The skunk ape is reported to resemble the Sasquatch, like in the Pacific Northwest, uh, typically shorter, which I could see that, uh, has long patches of hair on the shoulders and arms, uh, similar to an orangutan. So uh, that's interesting. This is pretty uh, compelling video. I mean, you see the thing yeah. walking across the uh, marsh or whatever that is, a, a swamp. What do, you, what do you think? Are we seeing it's not? Is it a guy in the in a suit or or, or is it a creature? I mean, well, uh, I think the fact that I was told that I'm not allowed to to no skunk ape for you. I'm not allowed to. Oh, no. um, uh, to hang on, I'm not allowed to uh, um, determine. I got gotcha. you. It's truth or not, and which honestly without like being struck by lightning, doesn't it kind of tell you there's some truth to it? It's oh, I think so. Swamp. I think there's something in the swamps that you don't know what's, I mean, it could be so deep in there that no people go in there. I mean, it's just kind of doing its thing. You got lucky. It's kind of like when someone says no comment. Well, that means yeah. there's always something that's there, but they just can't necessarily. Ah, the I old think the no question comment. is like, why am I, why am I being told not to speak on it? Why am I being told to not verify it you know why why the secrecy hold on let's see why the um i don't know who this group is that i'm talking to right now i don't know if you could find out but are the government are they trying to no. hide the existence okay no it's not them it's this group is it alien like Mm, it's well, like could they be. feel they feel very different than any entities that I typically communicate with. Oh wow! And I'm just I I don't want to push or pry for my own safety. They're just saying, just don't reveal. Okay. Yeah, Mary Christina says too many people have seen them for it not to be real. Uh, Mississippi, they've been reported there. Uh, there's always sightings of Bigfoot in Washington State. Yes, I agree, Kathy Ann, being from the Pacific Northwest uh, in the Olympic Mountains. Kind of reminds me 
of a silverback gorilla. Okay, well, I could see that. You know, it looks like it's small. You can tell. It, it's. I, I think it's real. I mean, I'd love to go and see one someday, but uh, it's okay. All right, we're moving on. Speaking of, uh, <laughs> Rick's like, I've had enough of your skunk ape. Okay, this is this is a great picture. Call, okay, because okay, you see. A couple in southern uh, Mississippi down in Jackson County caught some crazy lights. You can see it's on their trail cameras. Uh, they've got its infrared uh, captured these lights. So it starts out with the deer. They were kind of doing their thing. And you can see that the one deer, like, what the hell is that? Turns around, starts looking at these twin lights. At first I thought, well, it looks like headlights from a truck, an ATV or something like that. Apparently this is deep in the woods. Uh, there's no roads around there. So uh, it begs the question, was it a UFO? A natural anomaly, or the couple wanted to know if it could be, you know, a government drone. Mysterious. I, I just think it's so interesting that the deer that was doing, you know, its thing, and then all of a sudden, that whole area got, um, you know, lit up from yeah. whatever these things are. Um, I don't know. Orbs in the forest, Mississippi. Yeah, it's, I, you know, anything's possible. We know about. Yeah, exactly. But is, but is it alien? That's the thing. Is the deer is what's capturing me the response from the deer you know mm -hmm. um it's not alien uh oh could it be like a government thing trying to it do they want to do an experiment on the yeah. uh, the deer oh really not on the deer on the it's it's like what was the the other picture where i was like oh there was a it was an uh Outer Banks of North Carolina, yeah. that cluster of lights that uh, people yeah. thought that was like UFOs in formation. Yeah, that was man-made. So maybe that was, you know, whatever that was, military or whatever. But this, oh shit, this feels weird. It's almost like a combination of man-made and something else. First of all, it's not a creature. Well, it lit up the area. So I, it, it's not like a... Bigfoot, skunk ape, swamp ape. It it's can't be just that. the two lights. Yes, right? that's it. Exactly. Yes. And that's that's what I'm feeling has presence, has energy behind it. I'm trying to find out what it is. <coughs> <coughs> yes, I blame I'll, the swamp ape. I'll uh, I'll mute you if it is. <laughs> uh, Aaron was saying that it makes her feel uncomfortable. Yeah, it's that's it feels like I I mean I want to to articulate it it's like half human half something else but it's mm. not even that it's half it's human it's man made trying to communicate with something that isn't human that's what it is Real. Oh okay that's, but, so uh, I was to communicate with the deer I would imagine No I want No no, it's not trying to communicate. The deer was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. This mm -hmm. was man-made trying to communicate with something else. There was something otherworldly, if you will, that it is trying to communicate with. The deer was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. Although Brenda had a nice idea. Could it be a monster mm -hmm. truck lighting it? Lighting it Sunday, 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 monster truck madness. Jackson County, Mississippi, 7 p.m. Bring your deer. Yes. I don't know. It's weird. I mean, because it was dark on the video, and then these things oh, yeah. showed up, and it was like, whoa, all this light came out of nowhere. Uh, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know what it is. I really don't have an answer. All I know, it was, it was deep. It was. I know. That's what's fascinating is so something that's man -made. It's a hybrid human alien. Right. <laughs> Trying to communicate. So, you know, which out in the middle of the woods in Mississippi, that's a perfect place to be trying to communicate with something. So, yes. little deer. I don't know, right? And I don't think the light. To... Oh, boy. Talk oh, about boy. Talk yeah. about the lights on for you. Okay, this happened in Hanover, Pennsylvania. The Simpson family claims to have an entity that possesses the house. This is a photograph uh, from their basement that shows what they say is a seven-foot-tall shadow man. Uh, Deanna says that uh, this thing has physically held her down multiple times. She couldn't breathe, scream, or move. My uh, Lord. Uh, she's been scratched. Uh, I thought this was kind of weird. They've had like a black substance ooze from their walls what? and a foul old odor. Uh, 
you know, this will this will look good on the Trulia listing. Um, the family <laughs> hopes to sell their home, but but they can't take a huge loss. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the Zillow listing. It's a four bedroom, three bath. Uh, it has a entity in the basement uh, that is not friendly. Uh, it's got good bones. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, that thing Stop looks oozing. Uh, a little bit of oozing. Um, dude, if I saw that. Um, I don't know if I would stay in the house, Seriously. especially if I was getting attacked. Um, Seriously. And, and they invited a news crew there. I think this is uh, about the same time. As a matter of fact, yeah, a news crew visited the home in 2014. They were attacked. The photographer felt like his wrist was burning and a scratch appeared out of nowhere. So, and they were very skeptical, at least from the, uh, the story that I read, but this thing is in their basement. But the picture of the kid, that's really creepy. Oh, I know. I know. Looks like you as a baby, Darren. Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, it's a little bit skinnier than me. I was fat, but that's okay. Well, I mean, what I mean, can you I know you're not a big fan of uh the dark side. Um <laughs> can you can you actually pick up anything on these poor people in their home? I don't want to. I know you don't want to really go there. Uh, if you were, yeah, if you were to Oh, hello. Um, I love when you go to me and I'm not expecting it. And all of a sudden, it's my face right there on the screen. Um, Hello. <laughs> it's real. It's it's real. It's a masculine, always a masculine energy, right? Masculine oh, yeah. energy. Um, it was like they're referencing almost the Night Stalker type. Um. This is someone that when was in body, was violent, was even, I, 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 it feels like would harm, murder others. Um, and it's just stuck doing that. I feel like though I'm picking up on more of a uh, past um, imprint Something with a, of with him. The- like the property, even before the house was there. Yeah, meh, mm, no, he he sought out this house in particular. I'm not sure why, mm. hmm. but I'm feeling like him more as an imprint. Like I don't know how old was this. When was when did this start? Uh, tw- well, I mean, I don't know how long this was from 2014. Well, no, wait, they moved in in 2007, and I think they started having this crazy stuff. It was 2014 when they had the news news crew come over. I don't know the date on when that picture was taken, but. They've had a, a lot of problems, uh, you know. And you buy a house, you can't really flip it. Uh, it. What do you, what do you, what do you say? Oh, I it's mean, a great, it's a, it's a great house, except for the entity problem we have. <laughs> the entity problem slash oozing and and foul odor and cuts. Yes, I, he, he needs to be removed. Right, get the hell out. But I'm just picking up on like an imprint of him and I'm not sure why. I feel like it's because um, he's really set in his ways there. Mm. So it's really like if we were to go in, we'd have to really like, you know, you'd have to bring a lot of ammunition, you know, with you. Rick's going to bring his spirit box stand back into um, I'll bring my dowsing rods and I'll hit him with it. Jordan has a point. Either male or female feels proper. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. It, it does. Like, it just, unless we're going to go in and deal with it, like, let's move on from that. But that's real, obviously. Right. Well, and then real quick, uh, this talk was interesting. Kara was sharing, never forget when I was 16, saw a black shadow of a man and I was touched, had a mirror phone, Ooh. but this man used to be past in the house but it was crazy Ooh, so that's, that's, what, that's what's always interesting is you see these uh different pictures and they remind people of uh, this oh, one yeah. is crazy full-bodied female spirit caught on closed circuit tv in england Let's fake. just saying yeah you it think does. so that's just me all right it's like a ghostly she's leaning forward as you can see could be floating i don't know something in her hands maybe like hey uh, the security firm Bob Lees was alerted when a motion sensor picked up movement at the construction site when he instructed a full patrol of the area to go out there and take three minutes later. Uh, there was nothing there. No intruders, no woman, no nothing. I mean, 
I don't know why they would want, you know, whatever this site is, a construction site that they would want to do something like this. Um, mm -hmm. I could, I mean, that to lean forward, that would be pretty tough, wouldn't it, without falling, you know, on your face? I mean, Dang, I'm caught, the BS meter is going off. Anything's possible, but it just, me, it just felt fake. But doesn't mean that it is, doesn't mean that I'm right. I don't what? feel anything attached to this. Ooh. I don't feel any. I don't know. I it doesn't feel could like, be could be absolutely too perfect. I mean, it is pretty. It doesn't feel feel because you can't you can't screw her right. No, you can't it, see the little girder thing you know, behind her or whatever the the fence. So that would be usually if if an apparition you can kind of see through it. I've never seen one, but that does kind of look like a person. But I don't know. If it feels human, it feels very human. And it looks. The, I said, "Where's Jordan?" Said like the entity because that's over his neck of the woods in the UK. Uh, okay. Yeah, oh no, that that's from the scary thing. Yeah, scary dude. Okay. Mary Christina thought it looks photoshopped, which I mean that's my thing is like whether it's Photoshop, whether it's you know, some type of uh, actress or, or whatever. Uh, Kira was also thinking it looks fake. So, but it's one of those to where it kind of goes into the heading of it looks too good. To be yeah, too good to be true, right? That's it. She's done. I've had enough of these pictures. <laughs> my wife, stuck. My, and we're my done. My wife had decided to freaking update out of nowhere. I didn't tell it to. Could so be the ghost. So now I get my computer. Could Go be ahead. the lady. She, she got, maybe the lady got angry with you. She's like, I'm, I'm actually dead. I'm a ghost. You see, she got Probably. You know, enough, enough with you people. How about for ah, the, ah, let's go back. The greatest hits of the paranormal. Nessie said to inhabit uh, Loch Ness in the Scottish Highlands. Police have always wanted to go. It's a large, long-necked. Uh, you can see that creature with uh, one or more humps. Uh, became popular, I guess, in 1933. I think there was like a newspaper article over the years. There's been lots of expeditions, research done in the loch. Photos taken. People are like, eh, I don't know. Alleged sonar readings of the cryptid have been called eh, bogus. The, the scientific community regards the Loch Ness Monster without biological basis, calling the sightings hoaxes, wishful thinking, and the misidentification of mundane objects. Ouch, mundane objects. Mundane. There's, there's always been something about this. Good old Nessie. That always felt very real to me. I think so. I think something going on there, but what do I know? Mm -hmm. um, but I also am being told that there, there is also this communal love for this creature because there's no fear around it. There's this communal love that may be making something more than what it is. Oh. Um, but it feels, I feel, uh, I feel an energy to it. I feel a spirit to it. Hmm. And that's where I have to be clear that I'm being told, again, for whatever reason, this being, it could be fake, but it's generated such communal love and adoration um, that it is almost taking on this life that doesn't exist. Mm. But at the same time, I do feel, uh, that's what I'm saying. I feel a spirit to it. I feel a, I feel a spirit to it, you know? You're connecting with Nessie. So I'm, uh, that's where I'll leave that. Well, Jordan okay. says Loch Ness is real because it comes through the caves under the sea, do the quartz under the water, which creates an anomaly. Mm. That's pretty cool. It would be cool. It, it would be fun to do that, go on one of those expeditions one day. I don't have any money to do that, so uh, just I'll keep looking at pictures. Uh, go yeah. fund me. We can have yes. exactly. We'll have go a fund Rick, Rick and I and Miriam to go to Scotland. <laughs> ah, the old Chupacabra. See? Brand, this is from Bradley Chris, I think. Sun City, Arizona, probably about 10 minutes from where I am. A woman took a picture of this weird-looking dog on a golf course that some believe uh, to be a Chupacabra. The chupacabra gets its name from the Spanish wor or words goat and suck. Translated literally, chupacabra means goat sucker. The animal's name for what is rumored to do feed by sucking the blood of goats, sheep, cattle, and chickens. The first chupacabra sightings and attacks were reported in Latin America, which is why 
is sometimes referred to the Bigfoot of Latino culture, but there have been incidents in the U.S. too, including right here in my backyard of Arizona. But many scientists believe these animals clearly match that of mange-infested coyotes or dogs. You're an animal lover. You know dogs. I mean, it'd be sad if that is one. I mean, what do you think? Is that Could that be a dog or is it some kind of hybrid animal goat sucker? So I'm being told that it's a it's a real animal. It is not its own uh, pedigree. Is that the word? It's not its own. Um, it is. It is a. Uh, if you want to use the word rabbit, I'll use it. Uh, coyote. That it's not. And rabbit. I don't even think is the right word. There's an uh, something else. It's something else that it it eats or that it um that is inbred in it that causes it to be very sickly which causes it to attack um and Ooh. so the 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 story behind it has validity and it's a hybrid of a it's like they're saying it's a coyote it, without, I don't mean to insult, I'm just using it as an example. It's kind of like when humans have um, special needs. If you have a human that has Down syndrome or, you know, autism, um, which for humans, autistic and, and Down syndrome are these beautiful, precious, you know, spirits. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a mutation. Is that the right word? Is anyone a doctor in the house of cells or? We'll go with mutation. Mutation. Um, and that's what's happening to the coyote. Or even they're saying fox. And so there's a mutation that's causing it to be, um, it, it causing it to, to be sick, um, to be not like the others. Um, and there are lots of them because they keep procreating. Whereas if you could get in and stop the procreation, you could stop that um, gene from traveling right. through. So in other words, it's real. Mm -hmm. It exists. That's where it's coming from. Okay. Okay. Last but not least, goodbye, Mr. Chupacabra. We wish uh, you the best. Oh, exactly. Oh, man, this is the crazy one. Okay. The Tic Tac UFO, the U.S. Department of Defense uh, video from 2004. <clears throat> Excuse me, Commander David Fravor said he witnessed a tic tac shaped object in the sky. This was November 10th, 2004. It was performing extraordinary aerial maneuvers that he said no modern technology was capable of. UFO, uh, UFO would suddenly appear at 80,000 feet, go towards the sea, hover at 20,000 feet, and then shoot back up into the sky. Fravor and Commander Jim Slate and two others were sent out to observe the craft. Uh, Favor said, quote, I'm going to meet it probably a half mile away and it's coming across my nose and it just accelerates and disappears at 12,000 feet in less than a half second and it's gone. Mm -hmm. I mean, if yeah. you see the video, it's crazy. They're, I mean, they're having a conversation, they're tracking this thing um, and it just blew its doors off. Yeah, it's very what do you think? real. It's, it's real, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, hands down. But <clears throat> see, that's where you can. It's almost like for those that are learning to use their intuition, if you go back, Rick, can you go back to that one that I those lights over the water that I said wasn't real? That was man made. North Carolina. That one is. Sorry, what? I know I'm throwing you off, but I want to kind of I use a teaching moment there. You go. there. <clears throat> If you are you practicing your intuition now when you watch our show, just feel what that feels like. It's pretty. It's interesting. It doesn't look like an airplane, but it's there's there's no life to it. There's no life attached to that. Now you go back to this one. And even though this is not as clear, this is not as big, this is not as in your face, this is subtle. You can feel life attached to that. You can feel the life that is moving and experimenting. And it's almost playing. It's very lighthearted, very um, fun. 
it's communicating it's it's light filled um and it's very real and very much everything everyone thought it was and and the the experience if i i don't know if you said this <coughs> excuse me or not darren but the people that were experiencing it there was an awe not a fear. oh yeah yeah they're there like was, yeah the, but you see there there was a sense of awe not fear mm -hmm. like whoa sure. wow and you feel it in your heart you feel it in your soul there's life there and there's this really sweet sweet alien family that is just like the their life filled and they're joyous and they were they they knew what they were doing and they were very aware of it and were not afraid of it and came to do a light show and then leave they came they saw they blew the uh, military's doors off on their whatever f something that they were flying we don't have a picture of it, but I want you to, since you're in LA, there was something seen about a week ago that is crazy. Rick saw it that uh, it was captured on a vault. Actually, it's TMZ that actually got the the picture that they 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 got the whatever the image from the person that sent it to them, and then they used their people to kind of blow it up and they looked at it. But the definition of this saucer looking thing, and it looked like there was I don't know if it was lights in there, but I mean. That's like one of the craziest pictures I've ever seen. It seems really? like something's getting, something's gonna happen. No, just called it a hush. But I think something's gonna happen soon. I don't know what why. You, tell me, tell me, tell me more. What I just think I think I think more. Uh, we'll start to see more sightings, and I don't know if the government's ever gonna come, you know, clean and say what's going on with us that these things are real. But I don't know. Just something. Something seems to happen. I don't know. There's just more of these sightings that are happening, and it just seems like. I mean, it's about time. I mean, they're here. You know, they're not. I don't think they're. Gonna, they're not going to go anywhere. They don't seem to want to harm us. Um, but did I don't you know. did you remember how that last show when we talked about your connection? As it says, it's yeah, the thing I saw in New Mexico. Yeah. And so, have you done anything with that? Have you kind of looked at those pictures or what that was about for you? No, because I didn't do my homework. Oh my god! And you don't drink ginger tea, which all it does is give us fodder for the show to talk about your poo i know but, my uh, yeah my ibs it's paranormal i if you would drink your ginger tea and research that like if that was like the most intuitive moment i've had with you darren where you were you were your intuition your connection to that family just spoke right through you like that was really really cool to see it so, was. I mean, it was. It was. You felt that, right? Yeah. I mean, at the time, it seemed. I wouldn't call it scary, but it was a little. Okay, this is a little unusual. I mean, we're out in the middle of nowhere. The two lights, and then they took off. Mm -hmm. I know but what I, I saw. It was not. This is way before drones. This is like back in the mid '90s. But I'm referencing the what you just said right now. Oh, about but, the about the. I don't know. I you know yeah. I've always been fascinated, but just something's telling me. I don't know. Something big's See, gonna happen. That's why just now, that's the most intuitive you've ever been, the most open you've been. You just received information and shared it with us. You just did what I do. You just Great. So I'm gonna be so so I'll be up I'll, I'll be abducted. I mean, I was like, okay, so tonight when I go to bed. See oh, y'all. Turn your camera on. That's right. Oh, make, sure make, the, make sure make sure you're like rolling. Facebook hey. live it. The crow hey. is going down. <laughs> You're you're getting abducted, and I'm hanging out with a captain yeah. of a boat. So yeah, or how far you go back? You know, even past so. the captain, maybe. See, you know, there's a lot going on tonight, Darren. I'm so proud of you. I know I sound like I'm saying this condescending, and I'm not. I'm very. I'm. That was really awesome. What you, that information you just shared with us. Of and course, I'm, now when nothing happens, he'll be like, "Ah, oh, Darren doesn't know what he's talking about." Listen, <laughs> no. No, because here's what matters is you said something that was filled with truth and filled with light. It's not a matter of it happening to the world. It's a matter of it happening to you or mm -hmm. to someone around you to. And, and listen, being intuitive isn't about confirming. OK, because my God, confirming intuition, it, 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 it's, it's not a thing. You know, sometimes it's possible. Great. But intuition isn't about proving intuition is about knowing okay mm -hmm. so when you speak from a place of knowing that was the that's what you just did right now you just knew it how did you know i don't you don't know 
You don't know no, how you knew. Just, you yeah, just know. knew. But that's what intuition is. That's what working with spirit is. It's knowing that what you're feeling and seeing and hearing is spirit. You can't prove that. Right. And when that's we awesome. try to prove it is when we go wrong. That's awesome. And I think Daisy's trying to tell us, unfortunately. Yep. <laughs> we've reached the to top. We've reached the top of the hour. Yeah, we've uh, we've run out of time. And my goodness. Uh, great fantastic. episode, man. That was awesome. Great episode. Thanks for everybody for being in the chat, for joining us, for checking this out. We appreciate all of you. Yeah, thank you. Have a good night. We'll see you next time.